Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. So for today's video, as you saw in the thumbnail, I'm going to be doing a review slash first impressions of the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. So this product I picked up while I was in Walmart getting some other things that I needed. And since I've used Maybelline's products before, I figured why not add this one to the mix. So they said that this product is for all skin types. It's 76% natural um, ingredients. It has aloe in it. Um, it says that it's going to give you a natural look to your makeup, you'll get buildable coverage from using this product, gives you 12 hour hydration and an overall fresh feel to your makeup. So the shade that I got is in 355 because that's the shade I use in the foundation. Um, so we're just going to give this one a try and I already moisturized my face. I don't use primer so I'm just going to go in and try this product and see what it does. So this is what my skin looks like um, before applying any of the product on. So I'm first going to just apply a little bit on my hand. Kind of like swatch it. Ooh, that is too much. Onto my face so you guys can see. So this is what it looks like up against my skin. So I think, yeah, I think this shade will be okay. This is what it looks like. So. I'm just gonna apply, I think I put too much. So I'm just gonna start with this amount, which I think is too much, um, but we'll make it work. So this is what the product looks like on, on this side of my face and I definitely see a nice little glow um, coming through. I purposely didn't put a lot of moisturizer on my face even though I have dry skin because this product has aloe in it. I figured it will give me a nice glow so if I put too much moisturizer it might make me look oily. Um, but it blends nice um, so far goes on a bit red um, when you first apply it but it oxidized nice into the skin might look different for you guys on camera because I have all these lights here um, but it, it blends in nice it's it's not bad so I'm just gonna put on the other side of my face and then see what it looks like all over and also I will say when you're applying this um, product because it's in a tube I will say squeeze lightly <laughs> um, because from the minute you hold it in a downward position the product starts coming out so it's a bit on the runny side so um, just be careful with that if you don't want to apply it directly on your face then you can put it on like the back of your hand use whatever tool you use to apply um, your foundation and stuff on your face and then just lightly apply it on. So this is it all over my face and I could honestly say I made the right decision with not putting too much moisturizer on because I don't know if you guys can see but like look at all of this shine that I have going on here. Um, I do like a dewy look but I don't really like my face to look oily and honestly I'm looking oily. So I'm not, I'm not liking that. I'm going to go in with some concealer and setting powder and we'll see how it looks with the addition of these products on top. So the concealer I'm going to use is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. I'm not going to put too much because I feel like adding too much of this stuff just defeats the purpose of it being a tinted moisturizer. So for powder, I'm going to go in with the Loose Mineral Powder from CoverGirl in the shade 10. I'm just going to add a little bit of powder on that just to set it um, a little bit. So this is what the product looks like on with the addition of concealer and setting powder. Um, I just went ahead and add some mascara and just some lip just to finish off the look very minimal. Um, overall, it's not bad. I don't mind it. I like the way it blends into my skin. Um, as I mentioned, it does go on initially a little red. For you guys, it might look different with all the lights. Um, it oxidized nice into the skin. However... The, the the shine 
I'm not here for it. It's too much. It is too much. And I did use powder. I have dry skin, so I don't use a lot of powder. It is lightweight. The product doesn't feel heavy on my skin. Um, yes, it does have a glow, but it's not the glow I want. This glow is giving me shiny. Um, other than that, it's okay. Is it going to replace my Fenty Each Drop skin tint? Definitely not. Um, but if I had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 5.5, honestly. Not what I like. It's giving more shine than any, <laughs> anything else. Um, so if you have oily skin, I wouldn't recommend this product for you. I honestly, I know they say it's for all skin types, but um, mm -mm. if you have oily skin, unless you're going to put powder on your skin before applying this product, I would not recommend it for people with oily skin. Um, and if you have dry skin like me, just go on with minimal moisturizer. Don't do too much. Don't do too much, okay? I feel like throughout the day, if you let this product sit on your face for a couple hours, you are going to look very greasy, oily, just shiny. I am filming this video uh, in the nighttime, so unfortunately I can't go outside to let you see what it looks like in the daytime, but yeah it's all right yeah this is my two cents on the maybelline fit me tinted moisturizer um if you were thinking about purchasing this product and my two cents on it helped you let me know by dropping it in the comment section if you guys would like to see me do more reviews slash first impression videos let me know by giving this one a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you haven't already turn your post notification on and with that said guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye